Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first official vlog, if you will. Um, today, I'm just gonna take you around my day. I have lots of stuff I'm trying to get done. Tomorrow is my 30th birthday. I'm not gonna be at the house most of the day. I'm gonna go shopping with my mom and go out to dinner, but I thought I would show you some stuff I'm trying to get done today, um, some project stuff around the house and take you along with me. So keep on watching if that sounds interesting. Also, shout out to this makeup, because I'm once again using the Killer Queens Cosmetics eyeshadow, the anti-Valentine's Day palette, and it is so sparkly. I will leave that video linked in the cards if you haven't seen it yet. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, so far I got up, got dressed, did my makeup, uh, unloaded the dishwasher and did some dishes, and <laughs> the cats got fed. They're kind of playing. There goes Adelaide. That's her go-to move is to hide in the taco truck whenever Salem gets after her. And I broke down these boxes from a bunch of packages, most of which were from my uh, last month's haul. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the cards. I'm going to take these to recycling or at least um, put them in my trunk because I don't know about where you live, but our recycling... Um, give you a little close-up of Adelaide while I'm talking here. Um, our recycling bins aren't always in town every day. It's kind of hit or miss, so I'll at least load it up in my car, and then whenever I can catch the bins there, it'll at least be in my car and ready to just sort and toss in. And then you can probably hear in the background, I got hungry, so I'm cooking a HelloFresh for lunch. So here is lunch. It is a brown sugar bourbon chicken salad with kale, apple, roasted carrots, sunflower seeds, and honey Dijon dressing. Um, it is a HelloFresh kit. If you've seen these ads all over YouTube, let me tell you, they really are that good. I frankly really enjoyed them. They give me the chance to cook things that I normally wouldn't give me new ideas, and they make enough for two people, I believe. No, Salem thinks he's gonna get it. <laughs> um, but this is not really, this is not really the type of meal Wes would go for. He's not a kale kind of guy, so I'll probably end up having the other serving of this for dinner so it doesn't get too squishy by tomorrow. After lunch, I had more energy, so I started cleaning, and I forgot to show you, sorry, hashtag new vlogger problems, um, but I have this awkward shaped counter in my upstairs bathroom, and I'm not done cleaning it. Like, it still needs to be cleaned more, but I found the storage solution. So I figured I had all this dead space down here. So I got this rack to put all of this stuff, like literally all of this was on this whole sink up here. So yay, got that done. Also found these little wooden boxes on clearance the other day. They were $3 a piece. I got three of them of this size. I thought they would be good either for, let me show you this, uh, these like floating shelves that I found. There's a spot on the kitchen wall I will show you that I have these like canister things and they're taking up counter space. And if you know my kitchen, which a lot of you might not, there's not a lot of space. So I figured these walls would be good and I can either use these little boxes to like go on here or put my canisters or something. They had white too, but I ended up going with this color just because all of my appliances are a slate gray, so I thought this would just match the appliances better. Um, and then if I don't use all of these boxes on the floating shelves, upstairs I have a cart with all of my YouTube stuff. So I've got like stuff for hauls, stuff I have ideas for for videos, stuff I'm testing, stuff I need to put away. That I thought it would just bring a little organization to my life. So here's the color of the slate gray appliances that I have. They're from GE. Sorry, I know the lighting is terrible in the kitchen like this it only has one fixture Wes and I are actually talking about maybe putting in like some of those lights that come like out of the wall and hang down or something there just to get a little more light um, but yeah there's the rest of the appliances all that slate gray here that's like the back door to go outside here's the wall that's completely bare that I'm thinking those floating shelves would be good on just to put like a couple of them here and here and could put some of that stuff that's on my limited counter space on the wall. What do you guys think? And there's like cute little Halloween decorations and succulents and I just have so many ideas so I think that would be fun. So my next project today is to build this guy, the surf shop. Um, Adelaide has a couple of these. You guys saw the taco truck. Let me show you also 
and get the light on. This is like Wesley's like gaming room. Like, I don't know if I've showed you guys before. Here's his setup. He has all these cool like USB plugins and light up things inside his computer. His little like figurines. He has like a little monitor here. Then his big monitor and keyboard. And then another monitor because he has this whole race simulator. Like, I mean, for manual driving, everything there. But anyway, sometimes Adelaide likes to come in here. Yeah, and my elliptical where sometimes I can be found working out sometimes. Um, this is the Haunted Hotel little two-story thing. It's, it's kind of seen some better days if you haven't noticed. So, Jenny, my soon-to-be sister-in-law, saw this, I think at Target, on sale and decided to get it for me. So I'm going to build this. Um, so we have the taco truck, the haunted hotel, and I think I might put this one upstairs. Adelaide is like weird about going upstairs. That's the calico. So maybe this will encourage her or maybe we'll just cycle out one of the old ones that's been ripped to shreds. I'm not sure yet, but I will show you guys this one. It's completely assembled, but it's going to take me some time. All right, here is the surf shop constructed. Really cute. I think I did a pretty good job here. The sign keeps wanting to not adhere, but I've had that happen on the taco truck before too. Like these signs that are just like for aesthetic purposes, the cats don't really do anything with it. The adhesive is not that strong. So I tried putting tape on the last one and Adelaide just peeled it off. So it'll probably just stay like this. I like these two tiered ones though, because the cats will play like one will get down inside here and then one up here and play together. Um, so, like I said, this will probably go upstairs or replace the Halloween one, but uh, it is done. Alright, just taking a quick little break, got my Kingdom Hearts cup, and made the Starbucks refreshers. It is very berry hibiscus. Um, I didn't have any coffee this morning, and I'm needing some caffeine. So they're just these little packets that you can mix either with a water bottle or a glass of water like this and add ice. So I'm going to have this for a little bit of... Uh, Caffeine, you see here it says it has green coffee extract in it, whatever green coffee is. So I'm going to enjoy my little drink here, have a quick break, it's a nice berry color, and then I think I'm going to show you the outdoor situation that I've got going, some projects and things like that at the house. Hello everyone, we are now outside. I figured I would show you um, my little back patio situation and a couple house renovations. I've talked about showing you this in the past, but just never got around to it. So I thought I would include some of the like before footage here for you. So here's a couple plants I have. Um, I'm gonna cut this extra tarp. I had my brother build me this raised garden bed and I just am lining it with this plastic so that the dirt doesn't fall through the cracks. So plenty of room to plant. Um, and then I'll cut that plastic. I ran out of dirt so I just went and got more dirt. But it's up on like this little tiny patio situation um, next to the back door. And then here is the rest of the patio. <laughs> There's not much right now. So here's the rest of the plants. Got some tomatoes growing that are gonna go in there. Um, I got this for, I think the sticker is still on it, yeah. I got this for literally $5 at a garage sale, this little fire pit. It's pretty rusty, obviously it's used, but my brother said he thinks that we can like sand all the rust off and repaint it. So plants are gonna go up there. There's the only grow we have to speak up right now, <laughs> but Maybe we'll get another one soon. Um, eventually, Wes and I want to like build out the deck over all of this because there's like cracked concrete and it's like uneven there. So we'd like to like put the deck to go all the way out here and then have the steps go down into like a patio situation in the grass with maybe like a built-in fire pit. But for now, this is what we are working with. The price of lumber is so much right now, I think related to COVID in the US, so that's probably not gonna happen for a year or two. We actually had a laundry pole that was in the cement and Wes chopped it off and we filled it with some just like quick crete. Then we have a little sidewalk between the properties. We kind of want to put a shed over there too. Like we have a detached garage, but a shed over there for like the mower, weed eater stuff. So we can just have more of like the garage for the cars because Wes does like to do car shop things in there. 
And then we're about to do a little project here on our garage. So the downspout, like the water was coming out and it was cracking up the cement. I didn't brush up the old cement, but we did quick creep there too. It's not the prettiest, but you know, it stopped it from cracking. Usually you extend this little piece like out, but then it was like, okay, we don't want to like back out of the garage and run over the pipe like, cause we have people park in our driveway sometimes. So anywho, the solution is we're actually going to put a water barrel like to collect rain and I'll water my garden here. So you'll basically cut this up here and it'll go into the barrel instead of running out here. And then you can use the water to water your garden, your plants, instead of using like your hose line, you know, getting charged for city water. So here is the barrel that I got actually, guys. Um, so you can see from the picture there that the downspout goes up at the top here, like it's gonna connect to it. And then there will be like a little nozzle. I haven't installed it yet though, because you need a stand for it, like, in this picture, see how it's just like on the floor? I want to put a bucket underneath it to fill. So there's actually a stand that goes with it. I ordered them at the same time, but of course they didn't come in together. So I'm waiting for the stand to come in so I know like how high up to cut the spouting and get the sizing right. But that is something that we will be doing probably within the next week. So yeah, that's just our little cute little backyard. It's, you know, a fixer upper for sure, but that's okay. I don't mind fixing. It's kind of fun to make it in your own like style and taste then too, I think at least. So once I get that patio situation cleaned up, it needs like washed and scrubbed really well too. It's got like um, moss and stuff grown up on the sides of it. I have a patio furniture set in the basement. I think it's gonna look really nice there. So that's all out here. I'm not really doing anything. Just wanted to show you guys kind of like the before so that when I do updates in later videos, you're like, Hey, what it looked like before. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go back inside and probably do a little bit of cooking. All right, we are back inside. As far as cooking, I'm gonna be doing some vegetables from these crates. Um, there's a local place, like a marketplace, that does these crates weekly. You can pick up and get produce for a weekly price. Um, and then they also give you like recipe cards for different things. So I'm gonna be cooking some of the vegetables, actually not the ones in this particular crate. I have some from last week I still haven't eaten. So I'm just doing like some meal prep. Not sure if I'll actually eat it for dinner or not, but I do have to go to work later from like six to 8.30. So I'm just gonna cook some different things and have them ready for us for whenever we eat. Cause Wes and I kind of usually have to eat in shifts on nights like this. So I think this is the recipe I'm going to make as far as the produce is concerned to use up the potatoes and green beans I got in last week's crate. And that'll be kind of like a side to go with the other thing I'm about to make. So the other thing I'm going to make is just meatballs in a big crock pot. Um, this is a lot. This can be leftovers for Wes and I, and like I said, meal prep. So there will be something for him to grab and just heat up if I'm not here at work or something. But these are, I think, chicken meatballs, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I'm just going to do my mom's recipe, which, believe it or not, is great jelly and ketchup. Just equal parts. That's it. It's going to melt and taste like, it's not barbecue sauce, but it's like a sweet ketchup -y, But it's not just ketchup on meatballs either. It's hard to describe. Like, think a sweet barbecue sauce, I guess, is the best way to describe it. The jelly really makes it, like, thicken the sauce as it gets heated up, too. So I'm going to start with a cup and a half of each of those on these. Put the lid on, and I've just got it um, on low, and it's just going to cook for probably, like, six hours, something like that. It's afternoon now, so I'm thinking this will be dinner to go with the green beans and potatoes. All right, there we are. So it's all mixed up. I don't remember how many pounds of meatballs this is, but it's definitely more than one. And it's got, between the ketchup and the grape jelly, uh, three cups worth of sauce all mixed down in there. And we'll just, we got a little timer going here. This is Crock-Pot brand, if you're interested in knowing. Um, and if you do not already, I know it's not the most environmental thing, but Crock-Pot liners, such a time saver. Um, basically when I'm done, I'll just pull this out and the actual thing inside, like all the sauce the stuff stays in this liner. You just dispose of the liner and your crock pot's clean. It's good to go for the next time. So I love that, especially for super saucy things. So that is it for the meatballs. I'm gonna pop the lid on, 
just let this chill and get started on the potatoes and the green beans. All right, so we are on to food prep. I have quartered the red potatoes, oven's preheating. I'm working on getting all of the ends off green beans since these are from like a farmer's market type situation. You know, they have the ends that you have to remove. And I've mixed up this concoction. So this is melted butter, minced garlic, thyme and parsley. They give you the option you could do rosemary and parsley, but thyme's what I had on hand. So um, I mixed this all together. Half of this is going to go on the potatoes, and then they are going to bake for a while. Then you add the green beans to that baking sheet and put the rest of this mixture on that. Um, with salt and pepper, bake it more, and then I guess that's supposed to be it. So that's gonna be the side with the meatballs. I don't know that I'm gonna eat any of this right now, because like I said, I have the other portion of that salad from lunch, and I don't want the kale to get wilted and squishy, um, being that I already mixed in the dressing with it. So that's where I am with this. I'll show it to you guys when it's all finished. Moved all the produce out of the crate, so of course, cat has to sit in the box, right? Cats love boxes, we know this. All right, and here is the finished side to go with the meatballs. So this is the garlic herb roasted potatoes and green beans recipe that they gave me at the produce place. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog there, eat my dinner, and um, make sure I get to work on time this evening. So, whoa. Adelaide already, she literally just jumped on the table into her new surf shop. I guess she likes it. Ma'am, we're trying to close out the video. You're being very loud. She doesn't care. I told you guys she loves those things. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you made it so far all the way to the end, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I upload lifestyle videos on Wednesdays and beauty on Sundays. It's totally free to subscribe. And let me know, guys, if you like this kind of like at home vlog thing, like this was just like one day all at home. If you want more of me going places, if you want more of like multiple day type things, I'm just kind of testing it out since it's my first one. So. Love to hear from you in the comments, and I hope to see you back on the next one. Bye! I just realized I will be 30 the next time I see you guys. <laughs> Bye!